Hello and welcome to Kent Today Video News, your roundup of what's going on in Kent on Thursday the 9th of January. I'm Joanna Earl. Three teenage girls from Ashford have been taken to hospital for treatment after taking legal highs. They're thought to have got the substances from a 17-year-old boy who's believed to have been suspended from school. There are claims he brought them from a new UK skunk workshop in the town centre which opened last month. A CCTV picture has been released of a man police want to speak to in connection with an attempted murder in Cliftonville. 76-year-old Ken Seymour suffered fractures to his skull and back and needed 40 stitches in his face alone. He's still in a serious condition in hospital after the attack at his flat in Rutland Avenue on the 14th of December. Highways crews in Kent say they're ready to tackle an expected surge in potholes after the severe storms and flooding. New cracks in the road are expected to open up as water drains away from pavements, causing potential hazards to drivers. Council teams have dealt with more than 1,500 calls about fallen trees in the aftermath of the recent bad weather. And an area of Medways missed out on being shortlisted for World Heritage status. Bosses in the towns had been campaigning for Chatham, which included the Dockyard, Fort Amherst and Upnall Castle, to get the title. 890 sites from over 140 countries are on this list and a small number are added each year. The Lake District will be the UK's nomination for 2016. There's more local news on KMFM, but that's it from Kent Today.